imagine like the self belief the confidence that the whole squad and and den haag will get if if they get a result at at city they'll really start believing like okay like the process is is really stepping in the right direction and you can really like maybe your right now your ambition are like maybe we can sneak into top 4 but then after a result like that your ambition should be like it can be like okay we are definitely like you know top 4 contenders All right, this is me. This is him, Lal. This is me, Queen's ex-boyfriend. And Premier League is back. Queen is dead. They're still mourning. He's still mourning. Are wearing colorful clothes because you know I remember remembering her very colorfully. He's still wearing black. But right now, tomorrow is Manchester United versus Manchester City, a team of yesterday versus team of today, which is City. Obviously, we don't have to explain that. Now, interestingly, Lal, though City have been extremely dominant, they won four of the last last five Premier Leagues. But I just checked the last nine matches; it's pretty even, even between United and City. Four wins each, and one was drawn. Bring Oli back. I can actually bring Oli back. Okay, Oli Oli's formula actually worked, and I can actually see United beating. But only one strategy, which is actually good old Oli strategy, which is nothing rocket science, but just good old counter attack, catch him on the break. Because as with Erling, brutal Haaland, it will be suicidal to take on the game to City. This guy has been magical. Do you really see anything happening? Do you see them following the Ole Gunnar Solskjaer formula and trying to? Because we are also at um, at yard, right? There is no team. I think barring probably like not Liverpool of this season, but Liverpool of like last few years on. in european football who can like take on city and play play toe to toe with them so of course united will have to play to their strength and also like the natural thing to do against this dominant city side is to play on the counter uh and a lot of people are throwing stats at like i mean people are like trying to make fun of martinez versus maguire i mean sorry martinez and haland it's going to be really really interesting to see how that 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 duel goes um but yeah i mean united have to really play on the counter there's no way i see them like you know having more than if they have like 40 for 40% possession by the end of the 90 minutes it would have been like they would have played out of their skins and eric ten hag would have made them smoke some random shit to achieve that but i think if they get if they get i feel I mean, you just tell me a very sixty-second answer. If you were the coach, how would you make United win at at AR right now tomorrow? My point is that if I'm saying this is my view, I'm, you're a better coach than I am. If United has forty percent possession, they're gonna lose the game. But I can see them winning the game with twenty-five percent possession. Um. Yeah. I mean, there is no correlation between possession and number of goals, or or you winning or losing. But that's that's just something that I said offhand. I'm just saying because they're trying, playing. trying to win, trying to win will actually make them lose. That's the true. I I, I I I I agree with you. I'm I'm there hundred percent. The only strategy is to play on the counter, be defensively like sound, uh, get in like Casemiro like right there, you know, in front of the back four. Uh, I hope now he like. Ronaldo he will be playing. Rashford is not in. No, I I heard Rashford is back in the squad. No, he trained. Not. Oh, is it? He trained. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, go carry on. I'll double, double check it. Last I heard, yeah, he was I, playing. Yeah, I'm. I'm not too sure whether like I'd like to see Ronaldo start. Like given how the team has played uh, without him for the last four or five matches, um, I would have liked to see probably Rashford continue. I don't know. I, I'm assuming Martial is out for a long time. Uh, so it says now Martial is also fit. For City. Okay, then then it'll be interesting. Then it'll be interesting. I I don't know whether Martial can start because he's not played for like two months now. Definitely like he's cannot not, start anyway. Yeah. yeah. So if Rashford's back, I I assume he he'll start for sure. Uh, if he's fit, um, I doubt whether Ronaldo will start, but we'll we'll see. I'm hundred percent sure Maguire will not start. <laughs> so Maguire is not there. He's injured. He's out. Then I should not be the. I should not be the one saying this. But hey, like you know, I am being impartial and honest. I have no stakes in yeah, this. But, what, 
but you haven't given me about in 30 seconds apart from kidnapping erling root haaland how else can we win this goddamn game play like mourinho and conte park the bus and hope for the best uh you know we have fast attacking players we have like pace up front just you know try and capitalize on the on one two mistake they will make in the game and and finish it that's my mantra that's it i have it doesn't matter it looks ugly right you're just going to get a win right it doesn't matter it looks ugly because if you're going to take the game to them we might lose 5-1 If I we don't take the game to them. We might lose one nil. We might actually. Yeah, win. I don't care if we have five percent possession. Doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Like just just get out of the Etihad with like a win, um, and and that <coughs> might really kickstart the season. Like I'm not joking. Uh, imagine like the self belief, the confidence that the whole squad and and Ten Hag will get if if they get a result at at City. They'll really start believing. Like okay, like the process is is really stepping in the right direction. and you can really like maybe your right now your ambition are like maybe we can sneak into top 4 but then after a result like that your ambition should be like it can be like okay we are definitely like you know top 4 contenders so yeah. yeah you talk like these things man this is uh, i don't want to hear right now i just want to wait till tomorrow whatever happen this is just too much now you made me dream i was in fact lost in some fairy land which you guys trying to like transport me to let's not do yeah. that give me a final number give me a number if everything is about number Is it two one city, three one city? Oh, I thought city? you are. Yeah, I thought you are asking me what percentage chance will give United to win. Ah, so um, bad. Just give me a final number. Oh, this is bad. Mm, my, to be very honest, my my heart says United one nil, but my brain says City two nil. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm going with something like two one or three one. city but let's just see how it goes okay that's our final number let's wrap this and hopefully tomorrow united wins 5-0 i'll be very happy and then it kicks starting our season kick started when we beat liverpool and i think it went to the third gear if we win sit beat city i think it's going to be the fifth gear so not just kick started but let's 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 be real all right thank you for listening we'll be back with more podcast this is lal and this is me queen's ex boyfriend all right take care